Skatosis episode number 151. <laughs> Turn my headphones down. Welcome back, everybody. You got your own little knob. You can control your volume on that. No, it's like that. Don't they always say like rap songs? Yeah. You know, rap. Turn my headphones up. Turn my yeah yeah. Give me some of that snare in the headphone. Yeah, let me hear that. Let me hear that. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Skatosis. I'm Drew Domkus. I'm Aaron Monty. And this is the beginning of the second half of our first 300 shows. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Welcome back. And so um, we're here to talk about skateboarding. That's what we do here. And then we're going to go skateboard because that's what we do. That's what we do. We've got a bunch of we guys got- coming out today here to the barn. First session of 2020 because it's literally 45 degrees and feels hot today. And it's, I told you I was going to wait for the show. <laughs> yeah. It does feel nice. Right. But it's fucking bullshit <laughs> that this feels nice. I agree. I totally agree. Everything is starting to melt. But if mm-hmm. I look at my uh, weather app, let's see. Oh, 46. Damn. That that shouldn't feel warm. It though. shouldn't, but it does. It does. You go out there and you do anything, all of a sudden you build up a little sweat. I didn't wear my winter jacket. Wow. For the first Look day in like months. What's crazy is though, forty six does not feel this good when it was fifty six yesterday. You know what I mean? Like forty six is colder than you know what I mean. Forty six feels so hot today. One hundred percent. Yeah. Comparative to like going summer to fall, right? And winter to spring, yeah. Then it's it's like a world's a difference, big time. But so um, uh, I'm looking and forward. And we're both leaving in a couple weeks to mm-hmm. warmer climates. Yeah, <laughs> we got uh, we got a bunch of dogs. Yeah, Aaron brought his dog Jacks today. So our my little squad is like, what the hell's going on here? They're so confused. We got a newbie in the house, and yeah. they don't know the rules. So Sheriff D, Doobie Doo is over here Doobie trying Doobie. to like keep the peace, handling it. We'll see. So you guys might get a little. A little bit of barking in the in the background here. <laughs> Jax is all up in my mic. Right. Um, yeah. Oh so man, I'm I got going... look at I got people hitting me up. That's what that noise was. If you heard it, people hit me up. Today's session's still on, right? Oh right. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> That's the Sheboygan guys coming out. Hell yeah. So we Jax should have a few people to today. I think uh, Jason from uh, the Street Plant Battalion. Yeah. He, hell yeah. He's I saw coming. That. Yeah. And uh, Trayton's coming, and he sent me one of the nicest comments. I saw that. That. I saw that. I watched you guys' little gush fest. I was like, I I I hearted it. I was like, delete this comment. (laughs) I felt like a proud papa. I'm like, oh, look at my kids liking each other. (laughs) Wait, we're both your kids? (laughs) I don't know. I just feel older than everybody. (laughs) So everyone's your child. (laughs) Everybody at this point. You should just call it. It's like so inappropriate and rude. But uh, you should just call everyone son. My child. Hey, hello, my children. Boy. I do say boy son. Boy's pretty bad. Son sometimes. I like I like calling people boss. Thanks, boss. Mm, That's there's somebody one. at work, a really nice dude at work that calls everyone boss. Oh, yeah. Or champ. That's the only- champ is a good one. Sometimes I hate it because it's kind of, some people do it uh-huh. condescending. Oh, well, yeah. Like, you can definitely do it condescending. Yeah. Like, Thanks a lot, boss. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they even just like, and maybe it's just because I know those people, uh-huh. but some people at work that say, like, how's it going, boss? I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm already like, I'm already upset about it. Right. But, um, you got anything uh, special you want to talk about today? There's a whole bunch of stuff that went on this past week. I've been posting to the board. And I see you board. have that up right now. And dude. That, that'll lead me into my first question. Bev up, dude, is the curb king. The curb cuts. But Gosh. I guess the first thing I want to say huh. is shout out. I got a bunch of shout outs right now. Oh, bring them. <laughs> Should we just start? Yeah. This is the beginning of the show now. Shout out. I got a shout out too to um, give. Last week, mm-hmm. doing um, all those hippie jumps. Yeah. Hippie oh my jump. gosh. How many was that? I didn't even count how many. Too many. But you know what it was? You know what that edit was? Me turning lemons into lemonade. Uh huh. Dude, that was a chore. I filmed you for an hour and a half to do that. Uh huh. And I swear, I seriously got frustrated for a while. But I was like, I got to stick it out because he's going to land it. He's going to land it. I mean, you didn't turn it. Are you saying the edit turned into lemonades? Because we could have just deleted of, all those clips. Yeah, but I like that. I, uh-huh. I actually really enjoyed that edit. Uh-huh. I loved every jump to the beat. Like, I just, I enjoyed that yeah. edit. And the first time I watched it, I didn't have the music playing. Oh. I just watched the Oh, dude, right to the beat. I uh-huh. like that. And and I did a full two minutes so that I, it goes to Instagram TV and it just uh-huh. goes on and on and on. So my but shout it's like, out. It was like a bit hypnotic. 
yeah. I kind of liked it. So my shout out is uh, Hippie Jump Everything. Yes. That account started following me. Did they after, really? Yeah, after that's that cool. edit. Yeah. That, that is and cool. It, and I fucking love hippie jumps. I course. know. That's why I wanted to do that because you were trying a backside flip off the box. Mm -hmm. But the point, the fact that you were trying that trick just shows that you got that hippie on lock. Yeah. Like and locked I, down. You hardly ever even missed one. Yeah. There was only when, a couple of bales. Once I figured out mm -hmm. to just get the feet on the other side. Oh, dude. So I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jax? He's I thought that was pretty fun. I mean, I, I kind of thought, oh, I bet Aaron's going to hate this. But I was like, man, I just enjoyed it. You know what's <laughs> You my, know me so well. I you do. know I'm going to hate everything. I do. But also my barometer is if I can, if Dawn can watch a video and she likes it, dude, then I'm the happiest dude because she's super critical about that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And so I was like, check this out. And I started playing it. And she's watching it. She's just like, wow, that's really cool. Like, she was really digging oh, it. That's like, rad. the hypnotic way of just the board just seems like it's hardly moving. And you're mm -hmm. just like, clack, clack. I don't know. I, I like, think I like the, that a lot. I think those are the best hippies mm -hmm. when it doesn't move. It's rolling under. Yeah. You go over. Right, right. The board doesn't move. Yeah. Yeah. Mine always hop and I bonk. Yeah. And you, stuff. Always, you always want to like ollie. ollie. Yeah. It's weird. Honestly, though, I think you should try mm. like a shove hippie jump. Because I bet that would come easy. Because you're already popping. I always want to pop the shove, though. Yeah. I need to do like a hunter shove. You have shove. to do like a skirt, he, like, yeah. He just like little whips him around. I've seen him do 360 shove hippie jump yeah. at, at Oshkosh Park. So my other shout out is to my mother. What? Um, Happy birthday last week to my mother and my grandmother. Oh, my god! Two days apart. Your mom is getting shout outs all over the show. I know. She's, lo she's <laughs> loving it. And she's in the conversation because the other day I called her for her birthday. Right. And she asked me, what is a slappy? Whoa, look yeah. at her. She's like, I want to I wanna learn about this, which See? is very cool. So my question to you. See, I'm the old guy of the show. We cater to the elder audience. <laughs> Don't say, <laughs> Tread lightly. Don't say that. <laughs> that has to be taken out now. Um, so I'll ask you, because she asked me, okay. and I was like, did I do a good explanation? Tell me. How would you describe a slappy? A slappy is crushing your trucks into a <laughs> okay, curb. I didn't say this. That's exactly I thought you were going to say the same thing as crushing the that is the whole oh. that is the whole thing. Why don't my sounds coming through here? I've muted you. So I guess what I said is in like layman's terms yeah. is um grinding mm -hmm. on a cur it's like mostly done on curbs yeah. without popping. You're just like I said basically this I said like I just mean it like, started on a curb. Yeah. So it absolutely is a curb. Just like running your trucks into it. Correct. Like getting your trucks up on top, but not like but not, not popping lifting. it out. Yeah, yeah, not lifting. I mean, it's yeah. really, that's what I mean, crushing. Because the, the way that it started, I think, were people just slamming their trucks into the curb and you're like on it all of a sudden. Yeah, you're just going into yeah. And like, I you're think that is an trucks. appropriate, that's like the way to do a slappy. Yeah. Because you just push that shit in. Yeah, I agree. A lot of the ones that I do uh, tend to, I, I tend to lift my front truck before and I slap the back truck uh -huh. when I go backside. But my front sides, I think I kind of crush it a little more. But I do the back sides better. But, I mean, slappies are tricky for sure. Oh, And 100%. they get a huge variety of um, definitions because people start calling anything on a curve a slappy. Yeah. Or they'll call a wally a slappy. Yeah. Or, I would so, consider. Like, like any trick, there is nuances. Absolutely. Yeah. I would consider, and especially with this Bev Up Curve Cuts. Yes. There's so Dude, many different guy, things. That guy is so good. And like the way that he comes in and out of them, I always feel when I go for slappy-ish kinds of things, especially on that bank to curb, I just want to go so fast. Mm -hmm. I just want to crush it and I just want to get up on it. So many of his are just like, just barely pop on it, but sliding for a while. Mm -hmm. And so there's so much control mm -hmm. when he's up on the, the and rails has, and then he lifts one one side up or he goes a hurricane. or like, He has so much style so on, the, much, on the curb. Like, is that the only thing that guy does? Like, he's just known for slappies for the most yeah. part, right? Yeah. for the I, I mean, he can skate other shit. Right. But yeah, yeah for the most part, I think he's kind of like bringing that back. That's I don't know, man. There's a lot of guys that are bringing that kind of thing back. You yeah. know, it's a it's an older dude kind of thing. Yeah, and for I think sure. what happens is that um, resurgence. Uh, well, what happens is a lot of older dudes like me get involved with skateboarding, and that seems like a low entry to barrier. Like it's you don't need a whole huge setup. Uh -huh. It's low to the ground. Mm -hmm. and if you fall, you're not falling. This far. is what I told my mother is like it's kind of because it like. It started before mm -hmm. the ollie. Mm -hmm. That's what you did is like you just like cracked it in or before like an ollie grind or whatever. Yeah. You just cracked it into the curb. Right. So it's kind of like an older thing. And then now with like 
an older generation mm-hmm. coming back in, it's low impact. Yeah. You can kind of just like slash Chris it. Chris Pastras, man. Dune, that guy is all about the slappy. Like, oh, yeah. Almost, sure. If you look at his stuff, it's almost all he's doing. Mm-hmm. It's, there's some like parking lot near his house or something that's just mm-hmm. got awesome curbs. Oh, it's probably the same ones as Friendship. Or like it, it might be. Curbs, yeah. There's, yeah. A, yeah it's, just, it's, a, it's a familiar spot. The but, California curbs. Dude. And that was the thing is like skate parks were closing. Street skating's coming. Everybody's got a curb, uh-huh. you know, in at least in that area. When and I grew up, I had a curb in my front yard, you know, actual, you know, curb cut with an address, you know, on the front. Mm-hmm. I don't have that kind of thing here. No. Your house, do you have a... No. It's not know? a Wisconsin thing, especially yeah. for them to be painted. Yeah. That's like, that's East Coast, West Coast. Sure. That happens There would be there. guys that were just hustlers that just go up and down the block. You want me to repaint your curb number? Oh, really? Yeah, just like... 10 bucks or whatever like I because the, if I can get, it was I just always right there on the curbs curbs. but Uh, um the that's where I learned how to 50 50 mm -hmm. was you know the like uh medians where it has like a roll up thing yeah and then the curb at my grandma's house I would just roll up that and like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing I was using birthday candles as wax (laughs) like those small thin candles yeah they were just like shattered yeah um, but that's where I learned how to like get onto a grind. Sure, was rolling on and then like, not even a slap. A slappy came way later though. Oh, for real. Let me let me age myself here because the way oh, that boy. I started on curbs mm-hmm. is the curb in front of my house was just as wide as the trucks on my tiny little board. Uh huh. And so our whole gig, dude, was try to get up on the curb and just ride it on all four wheels to the next curb cut, which would uh-huh. be the neighbor's driveway. Uh huh. And curb that was cuts- hard. Like, I feel like curb cuts aren't really a thing out here either. No, no, no. Well, it depends on the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, it's got to be an actual little town or a city. Yeah, I mean, out here in the sure. country, we have culverts and, you know, yeah, ditches. And no, there's no curbs. Even like Oshkosh, though, it doesn't even feel like here and there, but it yeah. doesn't, it definitely doesn't give me the same feeling as East Coast, West Coast. Oh, yeah. As like curb and no, like the grass. It's a style of construction that's just For everywhere sure. out there. But yeah, so we weren't, I was never even trying to grind. We were trying to just make sure all our wheels were on that. Thin we're curb. rolling. Yeah. yeah, we're just rolling. What's the trick called in transition where you you're not grinding but you're rolling? Do you know what I'm talking about? You're like up top. Oh, uh, uh, Didn't like uh edger, edger. Is that what it is? Is where just the wheel is on the coping still? Yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. slashing it, but you're just like yeah. rolling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ed- I think they're called edgers. Yeah. Those are scary because those are really scary. And the photos always make them look so intense because it's the snapshot of time that happened millisecond. You know, yeah, for it's just sure. up and down. Mm-hmm. But man, just looking at that floating there, just touching, barely hanging on one little and like millimeter the truck of not rubber. On, yeah. It looks so rad. Totally. And sometimes those trucks were so small, there was no room to grind. Right. You could right. You were get just, it. Uh, and that is, um, we saw an old clip of like old, like, uh, like a bowl skating yeah. and like pools. Yeah. And yeah, you would get up because the trucks are so small. You would just get yeah. up on that wheel. Right. Right. That's great. That's pretty I, wild. And I think tail blocks is a scary trick. It absolutely to, like, is because you fully s- commit to yeah. up top. Every time I try those, you end up slip. I end up giving up because you just slip out a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, don't know, I always. Is, that's one of those things. I, like, I don't right, think I put I enough try pressure back. Oh, you want to do tail? You know what's funny? I was going to bring up. (laughs) I want to do whatever we end up talking about. (laughs) For sure. I was going to bring up again, and I think we only did it one or two weeks, but trick advice. We haven't done trick advice in a long time. I didn't even bring it up before the show. We don't even have the soundbite ready. You know how long it's been. Uh, Scott, Spot the Loonies, already healed up and skating again. Yeah, it's yeah. It's <laughs> That's been how long that it's long. been. Because <laughs> uh, I saw a clip he just put out, and he's uh, he's back doing tricks. Mm-hmm. You know what? I saw him do that. He was trying to. You know how I was trying to do the nose crook, uh, pull yank in, uh-huh. and I was struggling. I just can't get to down. reg. Yeah, just regulars. Mm-hmm. He was doing that on a little spine. He went up to nose, and the nose picked over it. Oh, that's I like, cool. I was like, that's probably a cool way to learn it because yeah. you're not pivoting the 180. Coming back in. I guess. There's something yeah. about that grab and the yank that just seems super awkward Maybe that to me. should be something we build as a little spine. I would like that, but you need room on either end to really make the most of it. Yeah. You I know? guess I'm thinking like... Um, just outdoors. Like, when, we like, get, when I get outdoors yeah, with the cement, like definitely. Like the Oshkosh one. Definitely want to yeah. do a spine outside for mm-hmm. sure. But. Speaking of... Wait. Sorry, well, I wanted, not well, Oshkosh. We, did we finish City. our shout outs? Because I got a shout out. Oh, shout, go for it. Shout yes. out here. New skate podcast called Skatefulness. Oh, very and cool. And so I was mentioning it to you before. Started listening to it. It's a couple of guys from the Street Plant Battalion. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just really good conversation. They're both in their 30s, like 36 and 39. Okay. And so they're one guy in a studio, one guy in a phone. And uh, that's what that was my point earlier is that I, I think I want to shorten our shows mm-hmm. because I enjoyed what they had to say. 
but as a very brand new listener, Mm -hmm. it was daunting to see it be an hour. Yeah. And I was just like, man, I wonder if we're just like, if we're alienating people just because they're almost always 40 minutes to an hour. Yeah. I disagree. But, But I just wanted to say shout out those dudes because it's good content loving it i love that there's more skateboarding out there to listen to Mm -hmm. and so good on you guys and in the beginning like a couple years ago we're going on four years Mm -hmm. it was us and the nine club yeah at first you know yeah and then like a bunch of other ones started popping up back when i first started podcasting i think i've probably talked about it before i don't remember the name of it but there was a skate video podcast that was just this dude posting clips of stuff he would shoot at parks Oh, and okay. he put it out as a podcast. In California or what? Uh, yeah, I think he was in California. Yeah. But uh, I remember watching that. It was one of the very few video podcasts back in the day, like literal podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he stopped. I forget what was going on. But I remember watching that. And that was before I got back into skating. Mm-hmm. And so it was always kind of there in my mind. But well, I never really thought back then, oh, I'll do a skateboarding podcast. And you got back into it in Costa Rica, right? At yeah. that park? Yeah. So this is a good transition to ask you. I was going to ask you. Off mic, mm-hmm. but I'll just ask you right now. Okay. So you're going to Costa Rica. I'm going to Miami. Yeah. Are you bringing your board? No. Wow. Not at all. Wow. I'm not at all. This is not a skate trip for me. And I don't want to be hassling a skateboard to go down to the jungle. Wow. And I'm probably, I, I wouldn't spend time skating, I don't think. Uh huh. There's definitely I'm blown not away how spots. quickly you said it. It's not a skate trip for me. Yeah. This is a. I'm going back to where I used to live. Mm-hmm. It's a birthday party. I'm taking JB, who's never been out of the country. We're mm-hmm. going to go snorkeling. We're, I mean, we're going to enjoy the jungle. I'm, Skating I, is just not... Uh, if I was to skate for 10 minutes there, wouldn't it be worth taking my board? Yeah. There's going to be a, a board there that I could ride if I needed to, if I had to, but yeah, not a skate trip for me. Oh, man. This changes everything. <laughs> Why? I should have asked you off air. Why? Because uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I want to bring my board and like... It's just, like I guess the thing I'm tripped out about mm-hmm. is that I'm gonna have to let me just lower this. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna have to check my bag then, and yeah. the only reason is because because of the board. It's thirty two instead of twenty nine. A lot of people just take their boards on airplanes, uh-huh. but it's up to that airline at that point to make force you to check it or not. Yeah, and because if what, the flights are full and stuff like that's that, that's what the website said mm-hmm. was. Like you, you can bring it, yeah, and they'll decide right there. Exactly, they'll be like you have to check, but they'll usually check it right there. But I mean, if there's a fee, because Joe was that. saying like maybe just don't bring it, and I'm like I can't imagine not bringing. But are it. you going there as a skate trip? Or are you going there as a couple having a fun time in Miami for like three days? If you turn it into a skate trip, she's gonna probably be bummed. Well, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't have to be a skate trip. Mm-hmm. It's just I like skateboarding. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. Yeah, I thought I you hated it. Get to, I sometimes I really do. <laughs> I get to be in a new place in very warm weather, mm-hmm. getting away from this, and I just in like it's. I guess I always just like rationalize it to me that I like it's my vacation. Mm-hmm. I'm spending this money. Sure, it's gonna be like us for four days, just going to, and we're right across the beach. Mm-hmm. So it's just us going to the beach. All I want to do. Is like, and there's um, we're staying at North Beach. Okay, and there's a skate park on North Beach on the beach. All I want to do is just like roll around town. Even mm. that's like, like yeah, but by I'm yourself, just like yeah, I don't even care. I'm yeah. just like hyped to like be in a new area. Sure, skate like stupid. Like I'll skate a three stair. You know what I mean? Like any. Yeah. So it's not really a skate trip because a skate trip is like every day, all day. You're mm-hmm. going out like getting shit. Sure, I can understand. If I was going to Miami to do that kind of thing, I might I might think of bringing it. I just know that this Costa Rica trip is so not worth the hassle of me bringing a yeah. board. Have you ever – you've never brought a board on a plane, though, have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, you have? Plenty. And you just check the bag? Uh, no, I put it up in the – up in the – what do you call it? The All right, storage. fuck it. I'm bringing it. It just depends on the flight. If it's too full and they have a problem, yeah. they're going to make you check it. But if yeah. not, and it's and your carry-on. And I don't carry even on. care. It's like 50 bucks to check it. Like, if mm-hmm. I get – the only I'm, like, tripped out. Yeah, but for 50 bucks, want... just bring your trucks and wheels and get a new board down there. <laughs> that's what that's what I said, too. And I'm like, I'm like, should I bring it or should I just get it? But then on the way back, mm-hmm. I'm going to have a board. Or leave it with somebody. No, fuck that. I'm not going to buy a board and then leave it. I'm just saying for the price. You yeah. Know. Yeah. And I thought about, I said that too, is like, should I just not even bring anything and just buy one down there? And she's like, no, don't do that. Mm-hmm. I think she just doesn't want me to bring it at sure. all. 
Well, that is a whole nother, you know, conversation because uh-huh. you guys haven't gone on very many vacations. Have you ever been on a plane together? No. So that's what I mean. She might have a totally different idea of these few days and you're going to be like, I'm going to go skate. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's I think- something that you and her need to work out. But for <laughs> this me- is why it should have been off mic. This is a good example. <laughs> uh, just have your mom uh, figure it out for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> She'll call me tomorrow. Uh, I just know that it's so not worth it for me. So yeah. definitely not a skate trip. I think that's what I'll do, though, because my bag, I'm going to bring like my suitcase bag that has a skateboard like mm-hmm. you can put it it's in. It's meant the for it. Sure. Yeah, it's meant for that. Sure. I'm just going to bring that bag and then try to put just do carry on. And Why don't you ask the me- audience? What would they do? Let's get some interaction. Oh, I would love to hear this. Well, also, I would go. I was gonna wait till the end of the show. Uh-huh. But if anyone's been to Miami, yeah, hit me spots? with spots. <laughs> this isn't a skate trip, but hit me with spots. <laughs> You're turning it into a oh, skate God. trip. Oh God. It's basically I mean, it's just what we want to do is go to the beach. Yeah. Right? So it's gonna be that You're gonna bring your board to the sand? I yeah, I'm put I'm gonna like put it in the sand. That's and, the like, thing. You carry your board around all the time. So I do and that's what I mean. It's so I can't even imagine going to Miami without it. Yeah. That like stresses that, me out. That there's your, that's your answer then. I mean, you got to do what makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah. And that, I, I mean, really. And I, like if it, if you're it, you're going to regret it, then that's going to suck. The only thing I'm regretting or may regret mm-hmm. is if they lose the luggage. Well, that's why you got to just check that in. I right. mean, not well, no, check no, no, it no. in. I'm saying like yeah, yeah. if they make me check it. Of course. That's the only thing is like, that's always get the this to Miami. For sure. We, I checked bags when I went to LA mm-hmm. and I got, I mean, it happened. It ha- you know what I mean? It happens both ways to yeah, everyone. Yeah. Um, but our, you know, our bags showed up. I, fuck, what did I do to California? Cause I had to have brought my board. I think I checked the bag. Yeah. I had to have brought it though. Even with a broken foot, I brought the board. See, I, I mean, that just seems like a waste of effort. And energy. It was, <laughs> it was, I took the boot <laughs> off and it hurt. <laughs> Oh, man, I got people chiming in. They're on their way. I know. They're popping. Crazy. Dude, so apparently I posted this and you didn't Stop see it. Stop sending me finals of years ago. I don't. What did I do? Um, you sent I me sent like, that one for a reason because there was some other reason. I was like, Aaron, check this one out. Uh-huh. But I had posted this because they just launched this new King of Macwa. Yep. But I, it was just like the next day you also posted it. That's why I was just like. Yeah, dude, it was the weirdest thing. Um, I think, is this the newer this one? This is the this- newest one, yeah. I think there's another one that came up a few days ago. Like, oh, right, right, right. This yeah. was the newest one when yeah. I posted it. There is, I believe, a second when one. When I now. posted this, mm-hmm. I was then going to post another video. Yeah. And after I posted this, I saw yours. Yeah. And then all, like, even the Four Seasons things, all of them popped up. Hmm. They weren't there. And then when I posted that, everything popped. Because that's why I was like, Drew, check, like, I'm yeah, in yeah, love yeah. with And I'm like... What the Weird. fuck is all this? The stuff? reason why I sent you that other one, the finals. Did you uh-huh. watch that one at all? No, I was I was upset because I'm like I'm not gonna watch. Dude, it's it was a so new Mac, but I'm it not was gonna watch good old to watch. Finals. Dude, I've been watching all the old mono we monos. I've been watching I know, old me too. the like, mono grinds mono, and slides. Uh-huh. Like they still seem super fresh. But the reason why I sent you that one is I thought the the guy that was hosting it uh-huh. was like this. I don't know if it was a full on character, but he had this Russian accent. And he oh. was and he was filming while he was talking, and it was really kind of interesting. That's why I wanted you to watch that one because oh. like the host of it was totally different guy, but it was a it was I don't know it was kind of interesting. The host now the host like and, judge thing oh. are so quiet. And they also had like the KO meters like in Mortal Kombat, and then when this this one guy was landing things so perfectly, like as soon as he cracked it and he landed it, perfect. Oh, it was cool, dude. That's, that's why cool. I sent you that one specifically because it was different. It wasn't just like me just sending you a find. That one, there was reasoning behind it. Uh-huh. So watch it for the KO stuff okay. and then watch it just because the host, host. the host was interesting. Uh-huh. He just had a funny vibe and I can't tell if it was real or not. So long, how long have they been doing this now? A couple I don't know. Years? This it's is the different, first one. Different I... formats though because that one was all, no, no, no. They moved around but they made them also had to do a trick on this little monster kicker. Like it must have had a monster sponsorship or something. Oh, I saw that. This You saw that this year oh that's in right these, that was this one yeah yeah, yeah. The, the the one that i sent you was flack only it wasn't oh, everything in the wasn't plaza everything. i love I everything too. and like how amazing to be and like did you see i think it was this one mm-hmm. where the security guard comes out yeah, it kept moving the, the turnstile <laughs> there's like a hundred skaters here yeah we're not even gonna 
move it. Fine. Right. We're doing a contest. <laughs> We're I playing know. a game right now. We don't give a fuck. But the whole thing is that that place is skatable. It's okay. Right. But they just move that thing. Depending on if you're front side or back side, you're going to have to go. I don't you have know to go if it is. is that okay, though. I think it is. It's like okay, but like I see security guards all the time like try yeah. to kick people and like put the posts yeah. up. I don't know. And they were that was they cool, were just though. like move it and then they moved it and they're like I'm going to skate. And there's so many people. Yeah. I can't yeah, even imagine I'm... just like the the I mean cuz in my mind I'm not going to land anything and so the washout factor is just like oh, everybody's ankles watch out. But that's I just watched a clip today um skating in New York. Yeah. And the same thing is like Yeah. you're like rushing just past so many people. people. Yeah, so yeah. many people if you that slip stuff out of trips that. me out. Um I posted like like I'm always watching that extra crispy New mm-hmm. York NYC channel. Yeah, that new one, The Rent. Dude. Yeah, The Rent was good, but there was another one where it was um, the... Oh, yeah, The Rent. That was yeah. the one. Because the thumbnail is that Jiro kid, or Jiro, uh, Jiro, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't seen anybody pronounce his name. I think... It... Oh, I don't want to say. I, yeah, I'm not positive how you say his name, but that guy is so good. But there's so much Shredmaster Keith in this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. And that guy is just so chill. He was chill. getting pissed off at LES. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. throwing his board. He was. It must be... It's it's got to be the same as like shout out Max too. Yeah, that strange love part. Right. Um, it's got like Max flowing cream park mm-hmm. and like people getting. It's got to be the same thing for Shredmaster. I would imagine. Is like, just give me the whole part. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit the gate. I'm gonna go hit that quarter. So good. He makes me want to learn the front side cess slide so bad because he does those so good on that that chain that front fence side wall. slides are fucked up. They look so cool though because you kind of go up and you dip it back and come down. You look you look like you're hanging in you time. You are. You're like you're like you're ready to jump the fence. Yeah. Yeah. It looks so I'm going to try some of those today and on my little vert wall. And he does it on that Elias that gate I know. spot and he's just dude, he's like this. Yeah. He's just up. That's where like there's a famous shot of uh, Gons doing a rock and roll on that. Yeah. There's yep. a few different tricks that have gone Did down. You do front rock uh, no, I think he did a regular because they just his foot is so tweaked on it. He's over it. He yeah. might have gone front Didn't, side too. Uh, Sandoval do one up there too. Yeah, I think so. There's like, been a few. Dipped. Yeah, there's yeah. been a few awesome tricks. I think uh, Brad McLean too. Even. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah there's a yeah few. rock and roll up on Dude, that thing. That's gnarly. Yeah. But um, yeah, the King of Macba, man, I'm a fan of that. I'm, I'm a big I'm, fan. Yeah, I'm that's watching fun. those as they come out. That's really cool. Yeah, this that's, one, the yeah. the very big final. This is the one you gotta watch. Okay, I'll check. Uh, that I don't out. know who these guys are, but they all rip, and it's this taller one. Jorge or George, how do you even pronounce it? But uh, he's the guy that kept getting the perfect. Oh, sure. Oh, man, it was just the way that he landed bolts and he popped things so high. It was like a Nick Tucker. Yeah. Yeah, it was so good. Did you see that new Manny pad at MACBA? That new thing in the ground that they like, they weren't even really skating it like a Manny pad. They were like going over it. On this latest one? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking on that one. They're like heel flipping over it. Yeah. And I loved, I love that black, I always love the kicker. Okay. So like all of those tricks, I was super stoked on. Yeah, kickers are always so fun. They are fun, man. I I, I tend to initially be intimidated and afraid of them, but as soon as I pop off it, then I'm like, oh, let's go. Yeah, faster, it's further. So, yes, yeah. yes. It's so, and every <laughs> time, especially with the coping on that spine, I like the bonk. Bonk. Oh, I yeah, like yeah. the bonk. And I'm super hyped on that kickflip I got. Yeah, dude. That felt like really good because you like kicked yeah. off and that came was down. really good. And the 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 one that I popped after that one, you can he- really hear the the metal. It was like, bink. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like almost, those. That one too is almost like a, like a Wally slap. Kind of like hitting it and like bonking off. Yeah. Um, I was at surf yesterday. Skate, of course, skating the kicker. Right. Um, and this one kid was going at it, and like you said, more speed. Yeah. If you're not getting off that, yeah. that's all it is. It's just like three pushes. Like just push and mm-hmm. go at it and mm-hmm. you'll, you'll you'll land. Yeah, that. yeah, you'll land. The problem with that is like whenever I see a kid not land that, speed. Just Always. go off that thing. Because you just get a little scared. Yeah. I mean, but usually speed, you get more hurt when you go too slow. Yeah, <laughs> true. But speed on slappies are fucking scary. They are. Because you can like wash out of that so easy. I know, and you just got all these angles to land on. And then Joe, Joe came with me yesterday because we went to a ramen place uh-huh. out in Appleton. So fucking good. I saw a picture of you guys doing that, yeah. So Was it good? Bowl 91, so yeah. fucking good. Um, I wish I so had Joe, something like that like close by. Oh, yeah. Although we there, should hit that up when there we go There is one there. in West Bend that's got a noodle place, but it's so expensive. There's a new um, ramen place in Oshkosh that opened, mm-hmm. but we should go to Bowl 91 and we hit yeah. up Appleton. I can't wait to go street skating. Oh, I'm man. just like it's coming soon. Hyped. You know, the snow is still here, but you know, soon enough. I heard like seven more weeks until spring. Something that um, what Pretty do you close. call it? That a hedgehog? What is a woodchuck or punk, <laughs> punk satani Phil? What is he? Um, <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Go. Um, yeah. What is he? 
fuck. Um, <laughs> See, it's not so What's the easy. Uh, Groundhog. Groundhog. You know what made me think it's of it? Like Groundhog's Day is the, that movie. Yeah, maybe. that's what it's all about. But yeah, he saw his shadow or didn't. Whatever the case, he predicts an early spring. Why the fuck do we tr- trust this ground? Gr- God damn it. I wish I could <laughs> wish I could have put this Groundhog on blast. Yeah, I don't know exactly why. But there's always weird... Uh, traditions yeah for sure so uh barn burner crew message board dude i've got so many things that i posted up here did you watch that game of skate on mushrooms i did oh my gosh that was it's on it's honestly not that different though right the, if you know how to skate i dude i mean depending on how hard you're tripping i don't know yeah because but they were like i watched that and they're like they're doing kick flips trays mm-hmm. those guys were good though yeah they all had the tricks there's so much here going on, but uh, I know we got people on the way. I want to keep these shows a little yeah, shorter. Yeah, you want to go a little shorter today. You know, we're at 30 minutes, and I think that's a that's a healthy show. Um, I would love some feedback. Anybody out there listening? Do you guys like them longer? Do you want them shorter? What's what's the deal? What's the what's the consensus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, what do you? Uh, where are those spots in Miami? Yeah, hit me with spots hit in those, Miami. Hit, hit Aaron up with those. I need to stress again: this is not a skate trip. Hmm. Um. Give Aaron all your horror stories for the times you brought your board and you shouldn't have. Yes. Oh, please. <laughs> That's what we need. I even hit up, um, because a bunch of people are out, because today's Super Bowl in Miami. Yeah. That's right. So a bunch of people are out there. Nige is out there for a contest. Yeah. And he posted like he's in like a penthouse downtown. Yeah. And I said, Nige hit me with spots. Yeah. <laughs> I hit a, did not get a response. No, he's giving you spots in Oshkosh. He's like, why don't you stay home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think Nyjah Houston knows what Oshkosh, what Oshkosh is. is. Probably not. Probably not. But um, so yeah, just shouts out to everybody out there listening. I saw that there was a new um comment on or a, what do you call it a review on iTunes. If anybody's out there wants to leave us a little note, I definitely read them. And somebody said they preferred us in studio as opposed to at the skate park. Mm-hmm. So here we are. This Som- this one's for you, buddy. You know what? Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work, mm-hmm. and we still want to go skate, and we still record. And but I love the studio. I think we both love this. Being it in the studio better. It just it sounds, sounds better. It sounds better, and and it's... I got the computer in front of me, and we got yeah. you know, it's all good. Yeah. But on that note, dude, let's go skate. Yeah. That's really what this is all about. It's been it's just a, an excuse for us to just get together and skate. It's been months since I skated the barn. Me well, me too. Well, no, I, no, yeah, I've skated because my back went out. Yeah, and you right. guys skated. In, yeah, right. I got the death lens for the barn today. Hell yeah! Cool. Smiths. All right, everybody. Well, you want some more Smiths today? I think so. Um, Those down. look, or they, your they lip were looking slides. good. Your the lip Smiths slides were looking look good. really good. Oh, that's the one I wanted to try. I haven't been on the barn. Is on the extension lip slide down to fifty front fifty. Oh, that's right. I saw that one guy do it in that in that edit on the on a it was on a ramp mini yeah. ramp. Dude, you know I thought we were going to lip to lip to fifty would be better. lip to Smith. Would be oh, that'd be or lip 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 down to anything. Lip would lip be awesome. would be super cool. Yeah, let's get out of here before Jack <laughs> yanks is, your headphones off. Um, and we're gonna the last f- thing I guess I want to say is huh. the curb cuts. Oh my god, Jack. that's what I'm saying. He's wrapped around uh, your headphones. The curb cuts. He did a hippie jump or a board slide yes. hippie jump. Yes, I thought we were going to cream today, yeah. and that's all I've had in my <laughs> head. So that'll come in the next few weeks. Yeah, I'm for sure. down for trying that. Yeah, there's a few things. Did you see? Uh, did you see Hank wall ride down that into that wedge? Yes. God, yes. Dude. And again, shout out him. You saw that strange love yeah, part, right? Dude, yeah. Nike hooking him I up. I saw that man. Way and to I go, saw. Hank. I saw him Loving a couple it. weeks ago in that, yeah. and I was like, "Is that the new strange love collab? Yeah. Collab?" He said nothing. Dude, he's chill. He's he's chill as fuck. He's chill. All, All right, right we got more, the post. Yeah, that's more people. Let's do it. Say yo, what up? All right, let's get out of here. Love you guys. Bye. Skatehoses.com.